Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tawana Sky, and I'm back here with another video. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about postpartum. Yes, guys, I know you guys have missed me. I hope <laughs> I did my Ultimate style bag and my whole birth experience, right? But no, I want to talk about postpartum. So, if you're interested, keep on watching. If not, then you know what to do. But stay tuned. Now in this video, I have a little notebook. I'ma write down all the little things. And cause guys, a long time, but they don't want to film this. Like a long time. Right? I'm currently okay guys. So in before I start, I'm gonna say mommy, Karen, Patterson, my mother. Thank you so much. <laughs> Like big up yourself, G. Like yo, listen to me, people. I don't think when I understand when a mother go through until they have a child, like legit. That's all I'm after say. Big up yourself, Karen. Mommy, real, real, real. Like it's crazy. Okay. So now I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna talk about six realities, guys that nobody tells us about postpartum you know like we, we all we get pregnant and we can have a baby but people make postpartum look like it's a walk in the park it's no walk in the park guys it's like it, it's a lot i look over this because in my sleep i'm just one of that area but it's a lot guys so the first thing i'm gonna talk about is fear guys yes fear like remember when we we're pregnant we well for most of us i can't talk for everybody but i can talk for myself most of us i'm sure that we have that fear of miscarriage we have that fear of stillbirth we have that fear of death right i know after we have the baby we're gonna say like you know <sighs> is this fear gone like when i say yeah man i thought baby we would know no people a whole different type of fear come over your life like guys if it, it, it is unexplainable like wait wait i remember when i just had my son at the first night i slept with him i watched him guys because me just now want to close my eyes because i think somebody gonna do him something yes guys like you fear people around you you fear your friends you fear family you feel even yourself like you wonder if you are overfeeding if you are you know if you do the right thing if you're gonna fail as a mother and guys it is totally normal right it is really really normal i remember my mother always said this thing you know like you know if i go somewhere and i don't call her blah blah, blah she just say don't worry man when you have children you'll understand and guys it is so real like as time go by you know you get used to doing stuff but that fear is never gonna go away it's never gonna go away so that number one thing that nobody talks about is fear fear like truly guys number two is breastfeeding yes guys people don't talk about this stuff you know people don't talk about this stuff no story time when I had my son, I had, luckily I, I'm still breastfeeding. Right, I hope I can stop until he's one, but my, my baby is in ag the breast. But anyways, guys, like breastfeeding is not no walk in the park. No, it is not easy. No, it gets easier, but it's not easy. Like people, my little book, I'm telling you some other book, right? no the first my first week of breastfeeding was horrible and made up a text my other baby mother friend them i asked them if this happened to them when they're feeding their child seriously the first couple of days of breastfeeding your womb contracts your nipples sore it, it, the be remember when my baby asleep when my baby asleep i'm happy when he wake up, I am scared because he pulls on my purse and it feels like I'm in labor again, over again. Like I had a C-section, if you guys watch my C-section vlog, I had a C-section and it just felt like, when I'm feeding him, it feels like, I feel hold on tight, 
because that boy is pulling on those breasts yes guys so it's not easy breastfeeding and then another thing is that sometimes some person's baby don't latch right away like latching for the baby is not a walk in the park you know when i'm a little bit and when i have a dolly and i put in the dolly pan on the breast now and after the dolly it's not that easy guys like there's techniques there's all heap of things to it guys but breastfeeding is no walk in the park also the breast and your baby has a magnetic attraction i think it's hormones guys but the attraction is like this if i'm in the living room and my mother has the baby and he cries it's like my breast is crying for him yes people like my baby cry i think it's hormones but it it, it is so strange it is so it, it is just such <laughs> it it's just god good that's all i can say like it is god is very good because if my baby cry my titty them get swell up guys swell up and start thinking like i them have spidey senses and so i want but yes people so that's breastfeeding and nobody never talk about uh, that somebody because somebody else like my sister she said boy yeah man that did that mean or really, really. but it's like nobody talks about this stuff like really like sometimes they just want to fight my friend them and i'm a big mother friend them and i'm a people them but i have kids already like me i said no couldn't tell me this but you but you anyways the third thing on my list is loneliness yes guys no we when we have our children we say you know they are your best friends they are your you know your everything but guess what it's when you have that baby that baby can't talk that baby cannot speak to you back like he will cry she will cry you know it, you can't communicate so much you just feel you had a baby inside your belly and it's gone and now they're right there and sometimes you feel like you don't know what you're doing and you want somebody to talk to but you can't explain yourself and guys it is okay totally okay it i hope i can say it will pass but from as time goes by it's gonna get easier and i hope you can talk to someone about that lonely feeling but guys if it is that it's become overbearing seek medical attention or speak to someone who listens guys because postpartum depression is real and a lot of a lot of times person look over it you know like you know we're women and we're this is what we're made to do but honestly guys we have to take time with ourselves and we have to listen to our body and listen to our minds because you will sit down and i watch your baby and like you, you know say one time he used to go this so and go this so and go for a movie theater or whatever whatever you can't do something anymore you know and then sometimes you'll like portray that you, ha you, you build up anger and you portray that anger to the child and you, you end up hating and resenting the child and that's so it, it's something that is not so explainable but it's hard guys and i know walking at the park yeah so loneliness is and, and it's okay to feel that way guys number four is hormone imbalance people people <sighs> after we have a baby well not everyone because everybody is different but it happens most of the time our hormones are like this boom 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 all, all around the place it's like it's a play ping ball pinball with us right you don't ever play pinball like somebody with something goes so boom, boom 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 yeah that is that is our hormones after we have the baby some persons experience it while they're pregnant but guys on my green here yeah mama tell you now people when i just had my son i always sweat I always did I sweat the plates at then I play a school. My, my, my sweaty, my arms stink. It's like me if I take two showers or three showers of the day, guys. Legit. And I did summertime when we just have my baby. But it wasn't easy. It's like you start sweat, you feel away. Um this minute you bleed, the next minute you not bleed, you know? It, it, your hormones are way off, guys. And you probably are saying, oh, what is but 
I just wanted them things there because you know your body was going through. They had the hormone, what they call the hormone, the HCG or whatever hormone. You know your body when you carry the child, but now after that, it's still there now, but it's like it's going away. So, boy, I'm not really lose science in a school, but I, to my understanding, that is it. Oh yes, guys, the hormone. You might think, you might feel like the time hot. You might bleed all heap, all heap of little things like. People, nobody never tell me about that. Truly, number five is constipation. Yes, people, constipation. Truly, somebody couldn't tell me. Tell the truth. Somebody couldn't tell me. People, me never know. Say, me coulda do the for Jamaica. Yeah, me never didn't know that. You see, my first week after my first week postpartum I I never pulled but I never realized it guys like I never I never realized that I never take a doodle I never really realized that you see me and <laughs> when my auntie was some caramel porridge and great a little coconut drops in it I said guys it's like me a doodle for the whole island people me a dodo. You understand? I said, I don't have a just stickle in your belly. You start do. It's like, and then you say, right, look how much days I'm a dodo. I'm going to set my lap beat my back for dodo, guys. Truly. Truly, guys. Like, I said, Mommy, this real, this, this normal. She said, Oh, me, bro. <laughs> but when I researched it, constipation is actually a part of postpartum. So some persons are constipated for a month. Like if that happens to no people, go to the doctor because just imagine you yeah, eat. And I was eating, guys. I was eating. Okay? So don't think I wasn't eating. And then um me me na no doodle. No, I was eating every day around the clock. And I just never pulled until I get a calm meal porridge day. So if you're constipated, my advice to you is drink some porridge, preferably cornmeal um, or oats, oatmeal porridge, some porridge, just porridge. Drink por drink porridge and you'll be okay. You'll you'll be able to pass the stool or you can get a stool soft now. I don't know that still, but you can get that too as well. So roller coaster no I think this is tied into loneliness um but the emotional roller coaster is like this <laughs> but never know somebody like a feeling we are like true 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 I've seen me and my son you see I'm a son it's like when I say it's like this week me will cry <laughs> this minute me I laugh this minute this minute me feel heavy like me I get weary this minute you know you just feel and guys you feel that we are all through the day like be patient with yourself ladies i can't express this be patient with yourself like don't compare yourself with other mothers because maybe you see this mother doing this and no people say oh me a mother of the year yeah no people who know it like personally say yeah mother of the year enough time I lose up things that I said, you know what? <laughs> I really that my do. But yeah, guys, like, don't compare yourself to nobody. You're in your in your baby's eyes, you're the best mother ever. And you should be that in your eyes too. Okay? Straighten up yourself. Like it it I don't know, I can't say guys it's rough, but these are the things that nobody talks about during postpartum. So guys be gentle with yourself um be calm be you know try to be you just just be you for your child okay so guys this is the end of this video um i hope you guys found it interesting if you did leave a comment below if i missed something if you went through something different from me let me know in the comment section below um i like talking about postpartum i like talking about mother stuff I like talking about these stuff, right? So I hope I helped or assisted anyone um, on their journey. Feel free to leave a comment, like, thumbs up this video. You know, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And until next time, guys, remember to be beautiful.